Yo, so in today's video I bring a haul and the website is called cndirect.com I think. Yeah, I'll verify that below with a link like I always do in all of my videos. This is gonna be a haul slash first impressions and also a review of the quality of the things that I got yada yada yada. All of these opinions are my own completely 100%. I was sent these items directly from the company but I did pick them out myself and I'm going to review them wholeheartedly honestly like always with you guys but a little disclaimer there just in case you guys were wondering. So first of all when I first browsed the website there was a million trillion different things. This website is crazy. It's got like everything you could possibly imagine. It's got like toys, it's got organization stuff, it's got clothes, it's got flash buy, like deals and all these other things going on. They sell jewelry and bags as well. They sell a variety of different things. So the first thing that caught my eye was of course organizational because I love organizing things and keeping things relatively tidy. It feels really weird being stood up. No, no, no. So the first thing that caught my attention was this. And it wasn't just this on its own, it came with another two. Now on the website this is called the three piece foldable bamboo charcoal organizer box set for bra, underwear, ties and socks. This was like $2.67, apparently it was reduced from $3.07. I think that is mega 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 cheap considering I bought some of these from Ikea and they were like twice the price. I got three I think of four foldable storage units but it was definitely more expensive than that. At first, I was under the impression that this might be harder because the ones I got from Ikea are a lot more sturdier than this. This is a lot more like flexible. Um, this doesn't really offer any support whatsoever. So really it does limit you to like clothes only. And what I've done with the other two is I've put them in my knicker drawer and I've filled them with my underwear. And that's definitely like completely organized that drawer and it looks 10 times better. I like include like a clip here. So I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit weird showing the internet my knicker drawer, but this is what I've decided to use them for. And I think that this was probably the best option really because of how flexible the compartments actually are. The fabric's pretty thin, so it's worked perfectly for this. I've used the square one that had the broken zip and then the next one that had like about four compartments or something like that. And I've just organised it into underwear. Yeah, no particular order at all really. I'm definitely loving this more organised knicker drawer though because I can actually see what underwear I'm throwing on instead of just aimlessly sifting through and being like, this'll do. Not that it matters because not really anybody sees me in my underwear. Just, just keeping it real. This is the only one that I haven't put anything in yet because I'm stuck. Like, all of my underwear is organised, but I don't feel like I have enough socks to just put in here. And my ties are hanging up. I don't know really what I should put in here. I'm thinking belts. I'm thinking because belts are solid that they would just go in really nicely there. Let me know what you think, if you've got any ideas. And I think for the price as well, to get three organisational like thingy me jiggy bobs, that's pretty awesome. If you don't have these work and you haven't seen them before, they come with a zip at the back, so if you zip it like that, it just goes flat. And you know, if you don't want to use it for storage, you just put it somewhere else. You can put it somewhere else and you know, Nice and easy. And this is exactly the same design as the Ikea ones that I have. See, now, one thing that I will mention is on one of the other ones, the zip has broken halfway down, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference because, you know, it's going in a drawer. But now I've just tried to like zip this down. This is what I mean, like this is the only design flaw with these things. Like, because of the price, you really are kind of like not getting a decent zip. And now look, on camera what that's done. Well that sucks. I could probably fix that but look it's broken so you know hit and miss because the drawer looks wonderful and I think for the price that it's definitely worth it if you're looking for something stable that's like not gonna break. Probably not these you know. I'd say that I prefer the ones from Ikea. The proof is in the pudding. They're good but I wouldn't like go out of my way to buy any or acquire any again because they break easily and that kind of sucks. However, if you're looking for a cheap solution to organise in your drawer, like your socks and your underwear and stuff, and you only want to spend like two pounds, like a couple of quid or something, then definitely go for these because the IKEA ones, I think they're like 12 pounds. So that's like double the price, but they are better quality. So if you're looking for something that's gonna last like a lot longer, in terms of organisation, I would get those ones. I'm a little bit ill. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. There. 
there we go. My voice is less husky now. So the next item I'm gonna talk about is awesome quality. Now this was a relatively decently priced jumper as well. For the quality that you're getting, if you was to get this jumper, it's definitely worth it. I love the pattern, I love the warmth of it, I love how thick it is. On the inside, it's got like beautiful, like proper, like comfy material. You know when you buy those H&M jackets and they come with like the soft, like, <sighs> it's just all cozy and you wear it for the first time like those hoodies with the fleece inside and just like oh, this is like that but a jumper it's like one of my favorite materials you gotta be really careful when you're washing it though otherwise like with every wash it just gets less soft love the stripes i love the electronic pink and blue because i just love my color the quality is really good when it stretches as you can see the stripes stay in place it's dark blue at the end and it's also really stretchy so you don't have to worry about the whole like you know some jumpers if they're made really really cheaply the ends of the jumpers can be really like I don't know, tight, and then you've got a baggy jumper on and it's just kind of like, what? But this is nice and stretchy, so that's good. And it's also got spots on the other sleeve, and these are like two of my favorite like patterns of all time, like spots and stripes. So when I saw this, I just, I had to get it. So comfy, like seriously, I think for the price as well, I think it's absolutely fantastic. This cost around $7. I think that's a bargain for this quality, because like I said, I've just compared it to like a high street brand. H&M, you normally pay around 25 quid, maybe like, yeah, about 25 quid, I think, for their decent hoodies with that material inside. And this feels more or less the same. It feels identical. So I think that this is an absolute bargain. So in my opinion, this definitely made up for the fact that the organization thingy was a bit, you know, poor quality. So the next thing I'm gonna mention is my little friendly giraffe. Now this retails at $2.25. I'm gonna insert the picture on the website and compare it with this. And there's a few massive differences you may notice. The picture looks more neon and this is definitely more pastel-y. Also the spots look like a very, very dark brown, almost black, but dark brown. This is a very pastel -y color with like pooey chocolate brown spots. Now, one thing that really kind of annoys me with websites is when you look at an image and then what you get is a completely different color because even though this is just a toy, it doesn't really make a massive difference to me, like the color of this. It just kind of annoys me really. It annoys me that the website doesn't depict like the true color and that's one of my pet peeves when it comes to buying online. A lot of the time you can't help it, you know, if the resolution of your screen in comparison to the ones that they're working on, you know, is different and yada yada and there are reasons for it, but that should only mean it makes a subtle difference. And I also I also had a friend that used to work with websites and he used to say that you make it compatible with all of these different computers and body down and browsers and all that crap and they would have to take into consideration like certain computers would only show it at this this and that resolution or whatever and color and all of that crap kind of really annoyed me the color thing mainly because it wasn't the color I was expecting it does come with like a little suction so you can stick it like you know in your car or whatever I'm probably just gonna chop this off to be honest because I don't have a car and I'm not gonna stick it on a bus window am I or a train window and I'm gonna zoom in on this now and talk a little bit more in depth about the quality. Overall, I think that the mouth is kind of quite badly done. From an artist's point of view, I think this has been poorly done. Sorry again, I've got a cold and I'm filming this. My voice just keeps going all over the place. So as you can see here, a bit of thread is coming off the nostril, but it can be forgiven, it's only small. But then if you look here, the fudge is going on here. Why is there like random thread there? and the mouth has been really poorly done. And the last complaint is the tail. This is supposed to be like a baby toy. This is very cheap and it just kind of comes off. So I wouldn't want to give this to my daughter, you know, or let her play with it because she's just going to get all of these hairs in her mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the suction off. I'm going to get rid of the hair. I'm so sorry, Mr. Giraffe, but the hair has got to go. I'm going to stick it in the washing machine and then Athena can have it. But I am a little bit disappointed with this. He is still kind of cute, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Ta -da! So these are just plain baseball socks. Pretty stretchy, pretty long, more or less socks for me to lounge about in while I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt because I kind of like that look. The quality of these is pretty good. They cost like $1.40 or something like that. So reasonable, came well packaged, got a pair in black. I'm 100% happy with these, really decently priced. Would buy more, really comfortable. So thumbs up for the socks. I love my knee socks. No pun intended for the Arctic Monkey songs. Enjoy. <coughs> <coughs> Too well to sing. I just feel like I'm gonna choke on air right now while I'm speaking to you guys. I will kill whoever gave me this cold, even though I think it may have been my boyfriend. Da -dun, da -dun. The next thing I got was this absolutely gorgeous cardigan. 
This is relatively thin, but it's heavy material, so it actually keeps you really warm. On the back of it, you've got like a really cute bow as well. Just really comfortable, and I love the way that it hangs on my body. I really like this, and the quality is very, very good. My hair kind of blends into the jumper, but thumbs up to CN Direct on that one too. Overall, it's a little bit of a mixed review here. Would I shop there again? Yes, because the quality of the clothes is really good. However, I wasn't very overly impressed with the quality of the toy, and even though I'm personally really happy with the organiser, I don't like the fact fact that once I tried to zip it back up again it just completely broke and then one of the zips came broken already. That tells me that not enough effort went into making the item. I would go to the website and I would buy a bunch of clothes, you know, possibly maybe some other items because I think it's probably one of those websites that's quite like hit and miss. Going off this haul, I tried to get like a little bit of everything. The socks are really awesome, you know, the jumper is really good quality, this cardigan is really good quality and the organisers, you know, they're good. However, they're falling apart, so I've just got to be honest with you guys. As for the toy, you know where I stand on that, but my knicker drawer is looking a lot better now, so yeah. It's not an entire fail, and if you are looking for cheap organisers, then you know what I'm saying. So as you guys can tell, I am having a coughing fit every 10 minutes, so when it comes to edit this, it's probably going to be a ball ache, but whew, god I hate being ill. There's like nothing worse than being ill. Speed of delivery, good. They came within a decent amount of time considering they came all the way from China, I'm presuming. Quality of items, I'd say clothing, 10 out of 10. Other, an other category meaning, you know, the organisation and the toy thingy majiggy bobs, 5 out of 10. I always tell the truth in my like hauls and review videos, like my priorities being 100% honest with you guys. So yes, I will link the items below. And if you are interested in browsing on their website, my recommendation is go for like clothes. I hope this haul slash review was helpful even if it was a little bit of a mixed one. But I'm about to have another coughing fit, so I must leave you guys. No, seriously, I feel like I'm dying. <sniffs> Meh.